What's up fam, it's your boy again. We're back with another mission guide. Take five. <laughs> so what's up? So this is gonna be the Warriors Code mission guide. And this is gonna be the, for the Still Curtain blueprint for the AK. And this thing looks amazing. I just love the way it looks. Just the textures that it has on it. It just is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. But this was like one of the most frustrating, frustrating challenges to do. Um, so we're going to go over all the steps and what I did. Or we're going to go over some of the few steps what I did to help complete it. So we had to get two public wins, which is fairly easy enough. 75 kills, which you're just going to do. Five headshots in TDM. 20 kills with equipment, so you want to use shrapnel and whatever equipment that you want to use. Uh, shrapnel will give you two of them. Uh, capture 20 flags in, in ground war. And 20 point blank kills. Now this one was a little hard in core. It's kind of hard because people could hear you. So I just went to realism mode to do this. You could also do it in hardcore. But for uh, what I use was the MP7 or the Uzi. Uh, whatever gun, actually whatever gun you want to use, just as long as you feel good. You want to have situational awareness. Cause right here, I heard them footsteps. And after, um, but I knew it wasn't my teammates because I didn't see the blue dots. UAV entering the um, AO. So right here you want to just listen. So I knew somebody was there, so I didn't want to lose the opportunity to get that point blank kill. You see me a little hop around so he wouldn't hear my footsteps. After that, he, was, he started running, I started running, and he couldn't hear me because my footsteps matched with his footsteps. So what I use, I use those guns. For my perks, I use double time, ghost, and tuna. And you want to use tuna because on the field upgrade I use dead silence. So dead silence, as you know, gives you that extra boost of speed so you're gonna need that to catch up to people to get those punk like kills um also i really wasn't worried about my kill streaks yet at this point because i just had to get the point like kills now the game was kind of glitchy so it wouldn't really register again situational awareness i heard him so i wasn't really tripping on the um kill streaks but just, just keep going on down the list so that's what i did to try to get a little stealthy so after the point blank kills you need five objective game mode wins <clears throat> now this is frustrating because whatever i was doing it wasn't working i would go to the domination that wouldn't count i went to um uh capture uh, hard point not hard point headquarters headquarters wouldn't count what i ended up uh, working was playing search and destroy so uh you gotta get five i got five wins in search and destroy so that helped that made the um, challenge count for some odd reason, it was search and destroy. Next, after that, you got to get 25 kills with kill streaks. Now, this one was, was a little frustrating too, um, especially it felt like when I needed to get those kill streaks going to get those um, kills with the kill streak. It's a tongue twister. Like the whole world was against me. But to do that, I ran. Well, first of all, for my kill streak, I ran a show torrent, care package, and a cruise missile. So I kept it simple. But if you are, if you could get kills very easily and you're real confident in yourself, you know, just move up. Um, I, I just would, then I started using care package, cruise missile, and the sentry gun. Now, right here, the field turret. I just you just want to place your field turret on a domination point. Mostly in domination, you know people are going to be running towards B or running coming out of a certain advised, area. So you always want to put your kill streaks up where there's going to be basically traffic. So. And for that, I, um, that package that I used, or loadout that I used, was for my perks. Or first of all, use any gun that you feel com comfortable using. But for my perks, I used Coast, Cold Blooded, Ghost, and Shrapnel. Because I was focused on getting kills. So Shrapnel, like I said, would help you get um, two lethals. So my lethals, I used either the Flame or the Proximity Mine. So I had two of them. For my field upgrade, I either used Dead Silence or Stopping Power. Mostly I lean towards stopping power because you want to have that extra Round, punch to, if you only have a few bullets to go down range, you want it to hit that person and get that kill for you. So stopping power UAV helped out a lot station. in a situation like this. Um, but that's pretty much what I use. Um, of course you want to put your your shield turret or your sentry gun up on a, on a V domination point, somewhere where there's going to be a lot of traffic. You could also do this in ground war. Put Friendly up your sentry UAV. gun on, Enemy on one of the flags inbound. where they're going to be spawning out of you know, E or coming out from A. It depends on what side of the map you land on. But definitely, uh, care package helped out a lot. But let's go down the list. So getting those kills was really important. That way you could, um, you know, get it done faster. Also, uh, you needed four, 40 kills with the secondary. 
and you can't use um, what's the name of that perk where people are running around with the shotgun <laughs> they have the M4 and the shotgun well that didn't work because you, you had to, it had to be a pistol or a knife kill to count as a secondary next after that you gotta get 10 long shots and then you gotta win five games of gunfight which is cool because then you unlock the character and then the last one is 10 public matches now this one it was like really frustrating because like I said uh, the point blank kills so it's kinda hard to keep up on people but you, you can do it and then the games wasn't registering the kills it was all glitchy but um, it wasn't you just what you have to do is after you completed the game all you had to do was close the app and then restart it and then after that if you did get the point blank kills it would count them um, but I hope this video helped you guys out uh, leave a like comment and let me know what you think down in the comments what you had to do what worked for you what didn't work for you and, and yes this thing was like super frustrating the next field uh, mission guide I'm working on is a sniper elite now this one I had to get a um, bunch of kills with sniper rifles of course and this one was kind of fun and I have some tricks and, and tips for you guys as well and uh, I don't know maybe uh, the sniping community probably doesn't want me to let you guys know <laughs> but I found this out from my sniper's elite challenge and um and it makes it a lot more easier so stay tuned if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button leave a like comment and like always I love my subs one more important thing fam use hardline hardline will help you get your um, kill streaks with one less kill so for the uh, shield turn instead of being three you just need two um, also use your claymores, drop those things because those add up to kills and get you one step closer to your kills kill streaks. Alright, down with that, I'm out. Leave a like, comment, I love my subs. Allied crew missile on the way. Battery depleted.